As a Muslim female with a Christian father, I want to know what is my obligation towards him. We've never had a relationship and we haven't seen each other in years. Is it my duty to reach out to him? And in the instance that he passes, what is my duty towards him? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Islam does not teach us responsibilities to a Muslim father and to a non-Muslim father. A father remains a father. A parent remains a parent. Our responsibilities to them, and inshallah, maybe is you being a Muslim and the father being a non-Muslim, you might, with your good qualities of Islam, might even make him his last day say, La ilaha illallah. Mm -hmm. And it's not impossible. I've seen people on their last became Muslim at the ages of 80s and 90s, right? So maybe when we, your dua should be, oh, Allah guide my, my father, oh, Allah guide him, he might just turn back and get into the straight path. He might just even say the kalima, la ilaha illallah. Secondly, when, you, when he passed away, it is still your duty to, to bury him. Mm. Even Allah Ta'ala send the crow to show Habil and Kabil, mm. what to do with a dead brother, imagine my dead father. Right? So if that was a teaching from the beginning of humanity, it will remain our teaching also for us to know if our parents are not there. And all of us are by default Muslim. Mm. Our parents are Muslim, but we also Muslim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Some people had to go through challenges mm. to become Muslim. And therefore, Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa taught us it's about humanity so it's about only Muslims a community don't consist of Muslims mm. in South Africa a community consists of many mm. and different cultures and different groups never of Hajj Allah says in the Quran Ya iwa nasu Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and we just get back to the inna khalaqanakum min zakari wa untha that we have created you from male and female, mm -hmm. wa ja'alna kum wa qaba'ila. We have made you different tribes and different nations, mm -hmm. different cultures. So we need to remember we are not better than anybody else. Inna akrama kum indallahi atqaqum. The only one that is most honored by Allah is the one of taqwa. But taqwa is not written in your, from your, your forehead. Mm -hmm. Taqwa is in the heart. Only Allah sees our, our, our God consciousness. But our God consciousness is supposed to teach us to treat parents as parents. Our God consciousness should treat, to, to, to teach us to take mankind as Allah's creation. As we are all equal. Hajj was about the equality of human beings. Mm. Mm. Male, female, Muslim, non-Muslim. We, that was Rasulullah's words, when an Arafah, time of wukuf, he gave this address to the nation. And for us at Hajj should know that equality of human beings is important. Kullukum min Adam. He said, to, he said, you all are made from Adam. Mm. Wa Adam in Turab. And Adam came from dust mm. and soil. La fadla lil Arabi ala al ajami. There's no superiority of an Arab above a non-Arab. Mm. No vice versa. So for us it's important that every human being, whether it's your parent or not parent, mm. should be respected. And parents should be more respected in caregiving so that we, the Dev Kiyama, when I come with my parcel in front of Allah, the good is there and I've done towards my parents, whether they were Muslim or whether they were non-Muslim.